Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophia, this is Face Canvas, and right now I'm going to be showing you how I did my artist-inspired artwork. And so the first painting that I drew inspiration from was The Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh. I felt like it was an absolute must to put in here, and so I'm starting at my collarbones and then going to my temples with a black body paint. And the second painting that I took inspiration from was A Sunday Afternoon in the Island of La Grande Jatte by Georges Surat. And I put my eyelid as the umbrella because I thought it would be a very nice shape. Um, and then I'm taking some pink body paint and outlining her hat, her kid's hat, and then her skirt. And using some foundation, I'm going in and creating their faces. Now taking the red body paint that I used for my eyelid, I'm going in and I'm creating her coat, going thicker on the parts that look a little bit darker and thinner on the parts that could be used more of as a highlight. And then using my white body paint, I'm going in and I'm creating the little girl's dress. Now the third painting that I took inspiration from is The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. I love the placement that I figured out for the clock. I put it on my shoulder specifically because the clock is laying down on a surface and it's angled in the same way a shoulder would be. And so the very first step, I'm outlining where exactly I want the clock to be in eyeshadow and then filling it in with white body paint. I'm now going in with my yellow face paint and I'm going along the lines of that and then after that I'm going to be going around everything in black body paint as well as creating these little clock arms that you see here. And the biggest challenge for this one was definitely figuring out exactly how the numbers go. See some of them are kind of angled and then some of them are angled very differently in the picture. And so, just painting numbers upside down and sideways is a little bit confusing, but nonetheless looks great. So after I got all of the black lines down, I wanted to make it thicker, and so this way it gives it a little bit more of a dimension. And then creating the little knob at the top of the watch, I'm going in with the same yellow body paint, and then a little bit of black eyeshadow for depth, and then a little bit of black body paint for definition. And I'm taking the same black eyeshadow for the shadow of the clock and blending it out just a tiny bit. 
And then using that same eyeshadow, I'm going in on the clock and creating all of the shadows inside of the clock as well. And I wanted to put in the Great Wave of Kanagawa by Hokusai. Hokusai. And I'm going in with white body paint, light blue body paint, dark blue body paint, and black body paint to create this effect. Now I wanted to add even more of the Starry Night inspiration, so I'm painting the swirly clouds with white body paint and then going on with some blue eyeshadows for different colors, as well as some lighter blue body paints in there as well. And pretty much this left side of my face, along with my whole forehead, is going to be dedicated to the Van Gogh. And then on the right side of my face is going to be dedicated to the Sunday afternoon. And then one of my shoulders is dedicated to the Salvador Dali. And then the last one is also going to be another representation of the Great Wave of Kanagawa. And I found it more useful too for me to use the darker colors where the contours in my face would be. And then taking my yellow body paint that I used for the clock, I'm going in and creating the stars to make it look a little bit more complete. Alrighty, so now I'm starting on the Great Wave of Kanagawa, and I'm creating this shape with my white body paint. It's basically a rounded out shape, and then down towards the bottom, creating that wave shape that you see in the artwork itself. Now I'm starting on the color part of the wave. I'm going in with my light and dark blue body paints and creating kind of a curve as I'm painting. And after I've got all the colors down, I'm going in with the small brush and a black eyeliner and I'm going over all of the little lines. And 
And just so it's more cohesive, I decided to extend the mountain down further into the wave just to make everything look like it all crashes together a little bit more, and I did like this effect a lot more. For that same reason, going on my left side, I'm taking my green body paint and I'm going in on that side of my face for the Sunday afternoon in the park painting. And this was a pretty bright green body paint that was pretty easy to kind of blend into the blue a little bit. And this is pretty much it. I hope that you liked this video. If you enjoyed it, give a thumbs up and comment. Let me know what you thought. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye, guys.